Okay, so this lesson was uh, solving systems of linear inequalities, and because it can take a little bit to graph these, I only got a chance to go through a single example in the other video. So I'm going to go ahead and run through example B here in this video, and we'll sort of use that example to talk about uh, two different general situations that may come up when you're graphing. Um, let's take a look at the two systems we're going to graph. Y is less than or equal to 2x minus 4 and y is greater than 2x plus 6. Now obviously because this first one is less than or equal to, when we graph the line, we're going to keep the line. And because this one, uh, the second one, is just greater than, we need to graph it with a dashed line. So let's start with the first, equ or first inequality, and we'll graph the line itself. So that would be the, the place where either above or below uh, we keep or discard the number of values. So here we get uh, y equals 2x minus 4, which tells us that our slope, our m, is 2, and our y-intercept, b, is negative 4. And that tells us that we have a point at negative 4, and that we rise 2, run 1, rise 2, run 1, to find our line. And I have that and here's, there we go, nice and straight, okay. And in this case, we get to keep that line because it's less than or equal to, and then we shade everything below it because it said that at any one of these points, y could be that value or it could be less than that. So we shade down from this line and everything below it on down to infinity is a part of this particular graph. So then we graph the other one, we'll take a look at it. For this one, we also need to graph the line first, so we'll graph y equals 2x plus 6. So this one has a slope of uh, m equals 2 also, same slope. And b, y-intercept is 6, so this one has a point at 6. And then it could also do rise 2, run 1, or down 2, back 1, to find our, our actual line, graph a couple of points here. And then if we put that line in dashed, it'll look like this. Um, this one says that it's y is greater than that line. So y could either be, it could, could almost be on this line. This line is the breaking point. The values can't actually be that line because it doesn't say it's greater than or equal to. But at any one of these points, y could be anything bigger, no matter how tiny or how much bigger. So basically anything above this line is a part of this second graph right here. Now, since we're solving the system, what we're looking for are the places where both of these inequalities show up at the same point on the graph. And we can see that since all that area, that sort of joint area, would be in the middle here, down in this area here, and since neither one of these two are actually in that area, this set of inequalities has no solution. There aren't any areas where these two things are both showing up. So this system has is sort of an empty set. There is no solution. Now what I want to point out here is that both of these have the same slope. We saw that and we can see that because they have the same slope and therefore they're parallel lines, something significant is going to have to happen and it's going to be permanent. There isn't going to be a place where they'll, they'll cross part of the time and not other parts of the time because it's going to keep those two lines the same distance apart forever. Now because this second equation graphs upward, as we saw here above the line, and because the first equation graphs downward, everything below the line, that's why we didn't get any intersection. But if either one of these two equations were to change their sign, then we would get a point of intersection. Basically, we get all the points above or below one of those two lines when the other one starts to intersect it. So just because the lines are parallel doesn't mean there, aren't, there isn't any solution. But it may mean that there's no solution because their situation is never going to change. If there's no solution down here, then there's not going to be any solution anywhere because these two lines are parallel.